What's up, guys? As a matter of fact, here's something I want to tell you. Chipped cars are not my favorite. It's nobody's favorite. No Cars fan wants to get their cars all messed up. That's just reality. Nobody's perfect. We're humans. So, anyways, here is Acer here. My Acer car has some paint scratches on top of his roof, above his eyes. Same on the hood, pretty much all over him. Hopefully Mattel will re-release him someday so that I can replace him. If not, I can always look on eBay, find a replacement of him so I can replace my old one or my current one right here. Same goes to Rod Torque Redline, who was only released in 2011. He's got some paint scratches and chips too, especially his eyes. His eyes don't look too good. So, hopefully Mattel will re-release Rod Redline. That way, it would be his first time made in Thailand, and... First time as a complete unibody with no plastic eyes, no plastic mouth plate. Same goes with Victor Hugo, the head lemon of the Hugo family. He's got some chipped paint all over him too. If they were to re-release him again, then I would definitely want to replace him. Here is Doug Spiechek, a British police car from the Palace Chaos series that was released in 2013 in a two-pack with Finn McMissile. He's got chipped paint so bad that I have to use like a black Sharpie to cover them up. It's somewhat successful, but not always. Here's the back here. You can tell there's some paint scratches and chips around him too. So hopefully, if Mattel were to ever re-release him, I would definitely replace him. Either that, or I might have to buy another two-pack with a duplicate of Finnick Missile that comes with him. Well, not a bad idea, by the way. And Mike Lorengin, another Palace Chaos car. I noticed there's some paint scratches on his roof and on his sides and pretty much where the, you know what I mean. I had to cover them up with a black Sharpie. Not always perfect here. Hopefully they will re-release him again so maybe I can replace him. But it's very unlikely they will. So I'll just have to buy a replacement on eBay if I have to for a good deal. Miles Axelrod, he's got some chipped paint as well. But Mattel just re-released him in the 2022 diecast line. So there is both a regular and a microphone version of him. So, I might as well replace him with the Thailand version, which is actually movie accurate. This particular Miles is not movie accurate, the one from 2011. Professor Z, definitely time to replace him. I mean, I'm still keeping them for now, but eventually there will be times when I do want to replace them. Max Schnell here. Max Schnell, not as bad. I noticed there's like some chipped paint on his like grill, on above his grill. So which is why the other day when I was at Walmart, I bought myself a replacement of Max Schnell to keep in the box. So that in case I do need to replace him, I already have a replacement. You know what I mean. Nigel Gearsley, not as bad, but... He's not that hard to replace if I have to. Jackson Storm, even though I did have a Jackson Storm that was chipping so bad, this was the he is he was the backup that I bought. 
and I noticed that there's already some chipped paint appearing on this one too. So this is why I bought yet another Jackson Storm as a backup as well. Yvonne Mater, Mater in Disguise, he's got a, oh yeah, he's got some chipped paint too. Definitely want to be careful with him. So that is it for the criticism against chipping paint. So I hope this video is understanding and feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and also stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.